in this question uh, there is an experiment in experiment 12 dm cube of oxygen measured under room conditions is used to burn completely 0.1 moles of propane one all and he's asking what is the final volume of gas measured in the room condition now the first thing is the question is basically asking for the uh, combustion uh, propanol is burning completely so we need to write an equation for propanol propanol is C387OH and it is combusting completely so it's reacting with oxygen O2 and it would produce uh, two gases one would be carbon dioxide and the other one would be water water would be liquid at room temperature so let's uh, write down the states as well because he wants the amount of gas that is formed under room conditions so room conditions water would be liquid carbon dioxide would be gaseous oxygen would also be in gaseous state and propanol is also a liquid because it has an OH group which uh, has very strong intermolecular forces we need to balance this equation so there would be three carbon dioxide molecules and four H2O molecules and in the end we need to balance uh, oxygen so there are four oxygens in three CO2s six oxygens in three CO2s four of those, that's a total of uh, ten oxygens in your products there's one already over here so we need nine oxygens over here to have nine oxygens you would need 4.5 oxygen molecules now once you have a balanced equation uh, the question states the amount of propanol that is used in the reaction which in this case is 0.1 moles so you have 0.1 moles of propanol and uh, now 0.1 using ratios 1 mole of propanol reacts with 4.5 oxygen molecules and produces 3 CO2 molecules and 4 H2O molecules now since 0.1 moles are being are reacting so we can use ratios I know that 1 propanol reacts with 4.5 moles of oxygen and produces 3 carbon dioxide molecules and 4 H2O molecules so using ratios I can figure out the moles of uh, oxygen so if you have 0.1 moles then the ratio is 1 reacting with 4.5 so 0.1 would react with so it's pretty obvious it's going to be 0 0.45 moles of oxygen and one propanol produces three carbon dioxide molecules so if you have 0.1 moles of propanol it's going to produce 0 0.3 moles of CO2 and accordingly 0 0.4 moles of H2O now the question wants us to uh, give us the final volume of gas now there's uh, in the products there's only one gas being formed the other one is in liquid state so we're going to focus on carbon dioxide and we're going to figure out the volume of carbon dioxide that is produced so 0.3 moles of carbon dioxide are being produced so for gases one mole of gas occupies uh, 24 dm cube so using ratios or you can use formulas one mole of gas occupies a volume of 24 dm cube at RTP so how much would 0 0.3 moles of gas occupy so the using ratios uh, and the unitary method x would come out to be equal to so x would come out to be equal to it's going to be 0 0.3 multiplied by 24 and that would give us 7.2 dm cube of CO2 gas so that's one of the products only one of the products is gaseous so we know that 7.2 dm cube of carbon dioxide gas would be formed in the reaction now there's one trick in the question and that is that uh, oxygen is also gaseous so how much oxygen is being used up 0.45 moles of oxygen gas is being used up so what i would do is i'm going to try and figure out i'm going to try and figure out what quantity of oxygen gas has been used up and using the same uh, uh, formula one mole of oxygen gas occupies 24 dm cube which would basically mean that if you have 0 0.45 moles of oxygen gas then that would occupy a volume of x which is the unknown and using ratios x would be equal to it would be equal to 24 multiplied by 0 0.45 and that gives us 10.8 dm cube of oxygen O2 gas which is used up so the so the uh, basic idea is that 
10.2 dm cube of oxygen gas is being used up 10.2 dm cube of co2 is being produced now there's one trick to the question initially when he was uh, if you read the question you were given 12 dm cube of oxygen which basically means that the amount of oxygen that was present initially was 12 dm cube so initially if you had 12 dm cube of, of oxygen so how much of the oxygen got used up in the reaction only 10.8 dm cube of oxygen got used up which would basically mean that you're still left with some oxygen that has not reacted so initially you were given 12 dm cube of oxygen but only 10.8 dm cube is actually taking part in the reaction so you're still left with uh, 1.2 dm cube of oxygen gas so the total volume of gas that at the end of the reaction would be it would be the 7.2 dm cube of carbon dioxide gas that is produced plus the 1.2 dm cube of oxygen gas that has not reacted so the total volume at the end of the reaction of all the gases that are present at the end would be 7.2 plus the 1.2 dm cube oxygen gas that has not reacted so your final answer is going to be 8.4 dm cube of gas so the option the correct option is going to be in this case it's going to be b